Reverend Insanity. Chapter 506. Three Hearts Combination Soul. After a few days of ominous rain, it finally stopped. The dark clouds dispersed in the sky as pillars of light shone through the clouds landing on the wet grassland. The sky was wide and huge, a truly grand sight. High Alliance army formed into a current as they flowed towards Kaufu. Looking ahead, there were people all around. Looking back, the dark troops looked like a tail, extending beyond where one could see, but this was only the middle troops. Other than this, there were the vanguards, support troops, left and right defense troops. This displayed High Alliance's grand army perfectly. A huge twin-headed rhino's body was covered in steel armor as it moved like a small sleigh. With sixteen pairs of pillar-like legs, it moved forward, stepping on the grass causing a dent in it. This was the rank four-strength huge beast twin-headed steel rhino. It was being manipulated by an enslavement path goo master as it gave off an imposing aura. High Tribe's main tent was on its back. As Hai Lulan sat at the center of the main tent, the tent was propped up highly and their field of vision was very wide. He was black and fat, his face was full of hair, he lay down on the tiger skin chair, raising his head to gulp some wine in one mouthful. Ha ha ha, looking at my army's formation, there is no reason to fear that Dong Fong Yu Liang lad. He looked around, the flames of ambition burning in him, as his laughter revealed a brutal and violent aura. Lord Alliance leader is right. I'm afraid that Dong Fang lad is already peeing his pants in fear already. Ha ha, with all the heroes present here, our army can definitely take down the opponent swiftly in this battle. In the main tent, the higher-ups present were mostly rank 4 experts, there were few rank 3 peak stage goo masters, they were laughing and optimistic, agreeing with Hai Lu Lan's words. Only one person was seated right beside the main seat, he was expressionlessly resting his eyes like an outsider, paying no heed to the conversations. But this did not make anyone unhappy in fact, this felt natural to them. Hai Lu Lan filled his wine cup as he toasted this person. Brother Shan Yin, let's have a drink. Fang Yuan opened his eyes, raising his cup as he toasted Hai Lu Lan, drinking the delicious wine together. Brother Shan Yin, still thinking about that assassination. Ha 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 ha, that shadow sword expert is indeed a beauty, I have sent my men to deal with her already. That Dong Fang lad is shameless, he dared to carry out an assassination but we cannot show any weakness. After we win this battle and capture that woman, she will be yours to deal with. Hai Lu Lan urged with his rough voice. Everyone laughed. With Lord Wolf King's assistance, any defense line can be broken. A goo master immediately bootlicked. Extremely true, I heard that Shadow Sword Expert is beauty as a flower, she would definitely be fun in bed. A male goo master winked, showing an expression that all men can understand. What assassination can take our Lord Wolf King's life? HMPH, it is but that Dong Fong lad's wishful thinking, no matter how many assassinations they carry out, we are not afraid. The goo master in charge of the camp's defenses laughed. Fang Yuan snorted, looking at this person coldly. How many assassinations do you want? Letting someone sneak in here and leave as they wish, aren't you ashamed at all? The tent turned quiet. Hai Lu Lan quickly soothed the atmosphere. Sigh, don't be angry brother Shan Yin. But before he finished, Fang Yuan interrupted him. Never mind the rest, but high tribe leader, where are the materials and goo worms that I wanted? Using the opportunity of the assassination, Fang Yuan flew into a rage and demanded some fright recovery fees. Pai Lu Lan's eyes flashed with unhappiness for a moment as he laughed. I have sent them to your tent, brother. Fang Yuan nodded in satisfaction, standing up. In that case, I shall go and cultivate. When the battle begins, call me. Saying so, he did not wait for Hai Lu Lan's reply before jumping off the twin-headed rhino, leaving everyone's vision. HMPH, Hai Lu Lan snorted with his nose, slamming his wine cup on the table. 
After he succeeded in making the alliance, he became the alliance leader, the authority of controlling tens of thousands of people made him feel great satisfaction, he could not tolerate Fang Yuan's arrogant attitude. The tent was still silent. But quickly, an ominous voice spoke. This Lord Wolf King, I understand now why Chang tribe could not tolerate him back then. Everyone heard this and did not say anything, but agreement could be seen on their expressions. Chang Shan Yin was arrogant, but any organization had its chain of commands, any person in power would not allow a subordinate's disregard for the system. Oh, it is cunning gentleman's son Shi Han. Hai Lu Lan turned his gaze over and saw the person speaking. He pointed at Fang Yuan's seat. Come, since Chang Shan Yin left already, you shall sit here. Sun Shihan was overjoyed, he made bad remarks about Fang Yuan in order to please Hai Lu Lan after all. Hai Lu Lan accepted his goodwill. After all, Fang Yuan's seat was the closest to Hai Lu Lan, but this was the reason why not anyone could sit there. Fun Shihan was called Cunning Gentleman. He was a cunning and devious person, adept at using schemes and plots, but he always had a good excuse for what he did, using the banner of righteousness to abide by the rules of the game, although he was extremely shameless, no one could do anything to him. Sun Shihan had rank 4 initial stage cultivation, he knew he had no qualifications to sit on Fang Yuan's seat. But he had a plan, he stood up from his seat and bowed to Hai Lu Lan, Thank you, Alliance Leader, but there cannot be reward without hard work. For this battle, I have thought about it for seven days and seven nights. I have twenty-three ideas to offer to you. Oh! Sun Shihan immediately said his twenty-three ideas, each sentence cut to the point. He was extremely familiar with Dong Fang Alliance Army, especially all the expert Gu Masters that they had. He evidently put in great efforts for this. At once, everyone's attention was on him. After he finished, Hai Lu Lan clapped as he laughed. As expected of cunning gentlemen, that is a good plan. Thun Shihan laughed as he continued. Reporting to Alliance leader just earlier, I have thought of a new plan, it is called expression weakness to the enemy. That Dong Fang Yu Liang assassinated Wolf King Chang Shan Yin, the Wolf King was affected by soul explosion Gu but did not die. Dong Fang Yu Liang would definitely plan again and make many moves against Lord Wolf King. Why don't we make do with this and order the Wolf King to stay put? Only after we tear down Dong Fang Yu Liang's methods in battle will we call the Wolf King to strike, to put an end to the enemy. What do you think about this, Alliance Leader? Everyone heard this and raised their brows, some were silent. Hai Lu Lan's gaze shone for a bit, he thought about it and said solemnly, Sun Shihan's plan is not bad, we will see about it. This answer was very vague, but Sun Shihan showed a happy expression. Sit. Hai Lu Lan pointed at the seat again. Thank you Lord for the seat, I am honored. Saying so, Sun Shihan really kneeled on the ground and kowtowed to Hai Lu Lan. Many of the Gu masters present showed a look of disdain, while some old tribe leaders had an expression deep in thought. Eek Xuan Ming, Zhang Wan Shang, and Wai Xin pays respect to Dong Fang Alliance leader. In the study room, three enslavement path Gu masters, two males and one female, greeted Dong Fang Yu Liang together. Although there were no enslavement masters like Fang Yuan in Dong Fang Alliance army, there were quite a number of enslavement Gu masters from the different tribes, and among them, these three were the most outstanding. Dong Fang Yuliang sat as he moved his head slightly at the three, immediately getting to the point. The reason why I called you three here today is to discuss how to deal with Wolf King Chang Shan Yin. Wolf King Chang Shan Yin. Hearing this, their expressions changed. A person's name was like the shadow of a tree. This was an enslavement path master, having shook northern plains decades ago. Now that he had returned, he challenged three mid-sized tribes in one night. Not only did his strength increase, he even had the Night Wolf Emperor. With the help of High Tribe, he controlled half a million wolves and could affect the entire battle single-handedly. Such an expert, how could they be his match? 
these three enslavement path goo masters looked at each other and saw the solemn fear they all had. But at this point, there was no use being afraid, the three said collectively, We will listen to Dong Fang Alliance leader's instructions. Dong Fang Yuliang laughed, but he changed the topic, asking them about the details of enslavement path cultivation. Enslavement path requires the most resources, although we have our tribe's support, my crocodile group is only about 50,000 in numbers. I am ashamed. Ik Xuanming said. I'm sure alliance leader knows my circumstances, I was not an enslavement path goo master from the start, I started halfway when I found Blood Sea Ancestors' small inheritance during an expedition, and obtained quite a number of the bladewing blood bats group. These years, I have been gathering the relevant enslavement path goo worms, but my progress is slow. Zhang Wan Shan sighed. Why Xin sighed too? In my opinion, the hardest part about enslavement path cultivation is the soul. Using ordinary goo worms to strengthen and refine the soul has too low efficiency. I worked hard for 20 years, almost cultivating daily, but now I have only reached 800 man crabman soul. Among the three, the oldest and strongest person was Wai Zin. Soul path, enslavement path, and wisdom path, the three paths had a deep relationship. After Dong Fang Yu Liang heard Wai Zin's words, he thought about his own cultivation, and he showed an understanding expression. He slowly spoke. Soul cultivation is very difficult indeed, ample patience is needed to accumulate your growth. Although I use the Coptis rhizome goo and slow slicing goo to gain a thousand man soul, it expended ten years of my precious time. The three heard this, and their expression changed when they looked at Dong Fang Yu Liang, turning into a look of admiration. Coptis rhizome goo and slow slicing goo, the former could strengthen the soul, but once a goo master uses it, they would experience the most bitter taste in the world, eating anything would be a painful torture to them. If they used this goo for a long time, they would be unable to eat anything, and the goo master would become extremely thin and weak. Meanwhile, slow slicing goo could refine the soul and get rid of the impurities in the soul, but in the process, the goo master would feel extreme pain, like their flesh was being sliced away piece by piece. Dong Fang Yu Liang had outstanding talent, reaching rank 5 at this young age, but this was also due to his hard work, achieved through an uncountable amount of tears, blood and sweat. Dong Fang Yu Liang's expression turned serious. Do you know about our Dong Fang tribe's combination killer move used by three people, called Three Hearts Combination Soul? Killer move Three Hearts Combination Soul. The three's pupil shrunk. Dong Fang tribe's famous triple combination killer move. Who in the world would not know about it? Chapter 507. Surprising Thieving Heaven Inheritance. Red, green, and black, three colors intertwined in the air violently. A flickering light was reflecting in Fang Yuan's eyes. He was extremely focused as he concentrated on the half-finished product in front of him, trying to stabilize the situation. Chinye, suddenly, a shrill buzzing erupted. The sound waves vibrated in the air, forming a violent wind as it overturned the table and chairs in the room, even the flower vase fell and smashed on the ground, ink on the table fell on the ground as writing paper flew in the air. The three colors vanished, and the half-finished product exploded into a pool of blue blood traces splattering on the surrounding walls. Failed again, Fang Yuan sighed lightly. These days, he had been refining goo. This goo was called nauseous crying baby goo, used mainly to deal with Three Hearts Combination Soul. Three Hearts Combination Soul was a famous killer move of Dong Fang tribe. It could allow three goo master's soul to fuse into one temporarily, going into a state where all three work as one, regardless of defending, attacking, or retreating. With Fang Yuan's experience these few days, his unclear memories started to become more vivid as well. He vaguely remembered that Hai Lu Lan suffered greatly in this battle against Dong Fang Yu Liang, only winning by a margin. Because of Three Hearts Combination Soul, Hai Lu Lan's side suffered great losses. After that, Ma Hong Yun rose up, 
and when he was dealing with Dong Fang tribe, three hearts combination soul caused great problems for him. Once, he was set up by some people and lost terribly against this killer move, getting captured alive by Dong Fang tribe. Ma Hong Yun thus became a prisoner and met with Dong Fang King Yu by accident, gaining her affection. Not only did Dong Fang King Yu let him escape secretly, she even told him all the secrets regarding this killer move. Ma Hong Yun returned safely, and together with his wife, Shang Ling Er, who was a refinement path master, created the nauseous crying baby goo, specifically to deal with three hearts combination soul. Nauseous crying baby goo had great effects on the battle, using this, Ma Hong Yun obtained a great victory, while Dong Fang tribe lost consecutively. After they failed too many times, the killer move Three Hearts Combination Soul was slowly phased out of use. During the Battle of the Five Regions, chaos was everywhere and Three Hearts Combination Soul was stolen by Central Continent Goo Masters, they improved upon it and it became a powerful move again. Ma Hong Yun thus released the recipe of Nauseous Crying Baby and after everyone learnt it, they modified it based on the original goo recipe to deal with the improved Three Hearts Combination Soul. Thereafter, Three Hearts Combination Soul finally lost its use and was left behind in history. Fang Yuan rebirthed, with 500 years of memories, he naturally knew the recipe of Nauseous Crying Baby Goo. But Nauseous Crying Baby Goo was rank 4, while the refinement materials were not rare, the refinement difficulty was extremely high. Even with Fang Yuan's near refinement master level skills, he attempted it more than ten times but failed them all. Sighing, Fang Yuan got up and walked to the window. This window was destroyed by the goo refinement failure, the air blast broke the glass as a huge hole was created. The wind from outside carried the smell of the grass as it flowed into the room through the hole. Fang Yuan pressed his hand on the window as he sent his primeval essence over. Quickly, the new window panel started growing, forming and blocking all the wind outside. The walls moved like intestines, the earlier crevices and holes created were all filled, while the broken vase fragments on the ground as well as the blood traces were devoured. This was the convenience of the large lizard house goo. Large Lizard House Goo was rank 3, advanced from the rank 2 Lizard House Goo. The Lizard House Goo was already large as a bus, it looked like a four-legged lizard on the outside, with a pathway inside the lizard that splits into rooms on both sides. The Large Lizard House Goo was like a two-story building, its body was five times the size of a Lizard House Goo. It was split into two stories, there were more rooms and a larger space within. This was given to Fang Yuan by Hai Lu Lam personally after he joined Hai Tribe. His daily cultivation was all done inside this room. Aside from Fang Yuan, there were six rank three Gu masters guarding the surroundings. They took turns as sentries, paired with their investigative Gu that could deal with all hiding and lurking Gu masters. If Shadow Sword Expert attacks again, before she even gets close to a hundred steps, she would be discovered by Goo Masters, and her traces would be exposed. This was a measure set up after Fang Yuan's assassination. At this moment, Fang Yuan looked down from the window, seeing large numbers of mortals and Goo Masters anxiously setting up their defenses. Some of them were digging canals, some were growing trees, erecting arrow towers, or building mud walls. A tight defensive line was starting to form. This was the third line of defense. Northern Plains terrain was mostly flat grassland. There were little obstacles and horses could run freely. Thus, since long ago, when two forces in Northern Plains engage in battle, the moment one side loses, they would not be able to escape, the winner would definitely be able to chase them down. Once a battle is lost, it would mean that it was the end. A tribe would quickly weaken or even face its demise. But with a defensive line, the results would be different. Once a battle is lost, be it retreating and escaping, or avoiding the enemy temporarily, waiting for a chance to counterattack, these defensive lines would have great use. Battles were a matter of life and death, it decided the fate of the tribes, it was dangerous and hard to predict, one tiny accident or a mistake from either side could result in failure. 
At this time, when a tribe retreats and defends according to their defensive line, they would stabilize their footing and would be able to regroup. This was the world of Gu. An individual had mysterious powers, it was not difficult to construct a long defensive line that was longer than the Great Wall on Earth. People soon realized the benefits of these defensive lines. Because battles in northern plains were not decided quickly, defense battles were much more advantageous than offensive assault. According to our intel, Dong Fang tribe is already starting on the growth defensive line. There are still about 3,000 lie of distance between us. According to their habits, every 800 to 1,000 lie would have a new defensive line. Fang Yuan recalled from his memories. These days, he had been cultivating in closed doors, but he had a firm grasp of the outside information. He was a higher up of High Alliance Army, every day there would be Gu masters coming to give him information. Looking at the time, tomorrow our vanguards will meet and begin the battle. But there is still some time before I strike. Fang Yuan was guarding the central camp now with Hai Lulan. A few days ago, Hai Lulan had sent someone to convey the message of the showing weakness tactic. In all, they wanted to make use of the opportunity to lure Dong Fang Yu Liang to make arrangements that he had prepared so that Fang Yuan could deal with him. Fang Yuan laughed coldly towards this. He had the Night Wolf Emperor, the Night Wolf group was easy to replenish, but Hai Lu Lan refused to use these cannon fodder, while he wanted to deal with Dong Fang Yu Liang, he also wanted to suppress Wolf King Chang Shan Yin. Fang Yuan had displayed Chang Shan Yin's arrogance perfectly, this made Hai Lu Lan unhappy, as the alliance was newly formed, all the different tribes were contesting against each other secretly, especially when the current situation was Hai tribe's dominance. Thus, all the Gu masters were competing for battle merit, suppressing others to vie for more benefits. Water demon Hao Jai Liu stood in front of the main tent for three days without moving in order to compete for the vanguard's general position. He blocked the door for three days and made a din requesting to participate in battle, and after defeating over a dozen competitors, he got his wish. Cunning gentleman used his schemes to emerge victorious, gaining Hai Lu Lan's favor by showing his allegiance, now he was the number one strategist in the Alliance Army. This was the internal strife. Any organization or political system had no lack of internal strifes. Chang Shan Yin was a loner and also had 500,000 wolves, thus he was ostracized by everyone since he is so strong, if he strikes, all the battle merits will be his. What would become of our benefits then? Hai Lu Lan agreed to Cunning Gentleman's plan because he had to stabilize his position as the leader and also to defend the hierarchy Wolf King is way too strong now, it gives me great pressure, there has to be balance, he has to be suppressed. Towards these issues and these people's thoughts, Fang Yuan was clear as day. His situation was different. The fight for the imperial court was just a jumping board, his motive was greater, much more than anyone could imagine, with the blessed land in his possession, he had little need for these battle gains. Since they do not want me to strike, I would use this time to cultivate, isn't that more advantageous for me? What Fang Yuan lacked now was not these ordinary resources, but precious resources and large amounts of time. A day later, water demon Hao Jai Liu led the vanguard troops and engaged in battle with Dong Fang Alliance Army. When the generals were fighting, Hao Jai Liu displayed great strength as he killed the enemy's general as well as three sub-generals. The enemy troops were without a leader, they lost their morale and were overwhelmed by Hao Jai Liu's army, allowing him to gain a great victory. But in the process of chasing them, he was attacked by shadow sword expert Bayan Sik Shuan and got heavily injured. Hao Jai Liu had to stop the attack and make a base there, nursing his wounds while waiting for the main troops to arrive. Three days later, Hai Lu Lan led the central army and entered the front lines. Five days later, the two armies converged. The two camps were only several hundred li apart. The tribe flags were erected all around the camp as battle was around the corner. The atmosphere was heavy. Late at night, the bright moon shines in the sky with few stars. In the room, Fang Yuan sat on the cushion as his eyes were shut, 
activating Space Thought Goo. Space Thought Goo Rank 5 was bought in Treasure Yellow Heaven. Using Moving Perspective Cup Goo, Fang Yuan obtained it from Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Under the effect of Space Thought Goo, Fang Yuan had half-transparent thoughts that appeared like bubbles, getting closer to the Brain Explosion Goo in his skull. Brain Explosion Goo was only rank 4, Fang Yuan used Spring Autumn Cicada's aura to forcefully subdue it back then. But the Brain Explosion Goo still remained in his head. These days, the Brain Explosion Goo had been absorbing his brain matter, while being corroded by Space Thought Goo, it had finally reached a qualitative change. In an instant, the Brain Explosion Goo scattered into a lump of black light, a lump of white smoke, and a fist-sized Space Thought. The reverse refinement succeeded. Seeing this, Fang Yuan breathed out heavily as his heart was filled with joy. He moved the black light and white smoke out of his head as they formed into two rank three goo. These goo were ordinary, Fang Yuan casually placed them at the side. The important thing was that space thought. Fang Yuan placed the space thought into his brain and read the details in it. Soon, his body shuddered as his pupils expanded, his face showing an undeniable joy that could not be concealed. This particular thieving heaven demon venerable's inheritance leads to Luo Po Valley. Chapter 508 Challenging Wolf King The pioneer of Soul Path, the legendary goo master at the apex of rank 9 peak stage, spectral soul demon venerable once said. In this huge world, the best option for soul strengthening is Dang Hun Mountain, and for soul refinement, the best choice is Luo Po Valley. One mountain and one valley, with both, one can obtain great success in soul path and sweep every obstacle in this world. Thus, Dang Hun Mountain and Luo Po Valley became known as the soul cultivator's sacred lands. Fang Yuan was well aware of how huge a help these two sacred lands could provide since obtaining Dang Hun Mountain. His thousand-man soul was cultivated through the guts Gu on Dang Hun Mountain. Guts Gu was the number one Gu in increasing the foundation of the soul. It had no side effects and its efficiency was extremely high as well. Normal Gu masters would usually require about 20 years to cultivate their soul to thousand-man soul level. Some geniuses with the help of their clans or the guidance of their seniors could cut down this 20 years by half. But for Fang Yun, he used the guts goo on Dang Hun Mountain to strengthen his soul to thousand-man level in less than half a year. This was coupled with the fact that Dang Hun Mountain was slowly dying from the immortal goo gruel mud's corrosion. With Dang Hun Mountain, the speed at which Fang Yuan was able to raise his soul to thousand-man soul level was like charging to the sky with a rocket. But apart from strengthening soul, the cultivation of soul required tempering to purify it. In this aspect, Fang Yuan's progress was much slower. Compared to the speed of soul strengthening, his soul tempering speed was as slow as a tortoise climbing. Fang Yuan was using wolf soul goo to temper his soul, to transform his soul to wolfman soul. But none of the wolf soul goo he was using were rank 5, the most he used was rank 4. Using a rank 4 wolf soul goo to purify thousand man soul was like pouring a bottle of ink in a lake. The efficiency of dyeing the whole lake was way too low. Fang Yuan had been searching for rank 5 wolf soul goo, but it was in vain. But even without rank 5 wolf soul goo, there was still one method. That was to use second watch goo or third watch goo to increase the time flow of his body, or enter the blessed land to increase the speed of his cultivation. These methods could be used by others, but Fang Yuan could not. Fang Yuan's first vital goo spring autumn cicada was slowly recovering with time. Before he becomes a goo immortal, this goo would be like an executioner's blade hovering above his neck. My thousand man soul was accomplished using Dang Hun Mountain. Luo Po Valley is on par with Dang Hun Mountain if I could obtain it. For a moment, Fang Yuan had an impulse to change to Soul Path. If I can save Dang Hun Mountain and obtain Luo Po Valley, with the huge foundation of two sacred lands of the Soul Path, cultivating Soul Path would truly be a wise choice.
even having much more prospects than the blood path I cultivated in my past life. But soon, Fang Yuan calmed down. According to the directions given by Space Thought, Luopo Valley is quite far away, the matter of importance right now is saving Dang Han Mountain, now is not the time to go to Luopo Valley. The battle is approaching, I also cannot casually abandon my current strength path and enslavement path foundation. Fang Yuan was relying on enslavement path and strength path to become an influential figure in Northern Plains. But his current strength was still far from allowing him to roam unhindered and invincible in the mortal world. One shadow sword expert was able to obstruct him. Although he had second aperture, cultivated strength and enslavement path, had rank 5 peak stage cultivation, Fang Yuan was involved in the fight for the imperial court, he still appeared insignificant. This was a whirlpool of war that involved the whole northern plains, if one was just a bit careless, even a rank 5 Gu master had the danger of dying. My enslavement path cultivation has achieved some success and can influence the whole situation, but it is clear that my attack is strong but defense is weak. On strength path aspect, it is still not enough for defending myself. It will be trouble once people like Mo Shiquang and Bayan Sik Shuen get near to me. I have to be much more careful in this battle with Dong Fang tribe. Thinking of the imminent great battle, Fang Yuan did not have raging battle intent like others. It could be said that cunning gentleman was doing him a small favor, letting him stay behind the scenes and have more time to cultivate and increase his battle strength. In the following days, Fang Yuan nurtured his second aperture while trying to refine nauseous crying baby goo. At the same time, he communicated with little who immortal to handle all kinds of matters in the blessed land. In Hu Immortal Blessed Land, Dang Hun Mountain's situation continued to worsen, the whole mountain was shrinking day by day. Little Hu Immortal disposed of large amounts of gruel mud from Dang Hun Mountain every day to prolong Dang Hun Mountain's vitality as much as possible. Starry clouds covered the eastern part of the Blessed Land, the scale of starlight fireflies had expanded by three times of before, and there were even fifty to sixty more starlight firefly goo than little who immortals initial assessment. Being able to get this many starlight firefly goo in this short period of time was all thanks to air bubble fish. These air bubble fish were gradually showing their effects. Previously, Fang Yuan had frequently entered and exited who immortal blessed land, using stargate goo for a long time which caused the amount of starlight firefly goo to dwindle. Now, Starlight Firefly Goo expanded in numbers once more, alleviating his pressure. At the western part of the Blessed Land, large numbers of pink rabbits were reproducing. Since Fang Yuan had transferred the wolf groups to northern plains, the pressure on the pink rabbits had decreased, thus their numbers was quickly expanding. After Little Who Immortal reported these news, Fang Yuan immediately made her transfer large amounts of water wolves from the eastern lakes to the western parts to fill the gap in the food chain, but even so, the rabbits were still expanding wildly. To prevent a rabbit calamity, Little Who Immortal had put up a large group of pink rabbits for sale in Treasure Yellow Heaven a few days ago. Fang Yuan was most concerned about the hairy men who were momentarily placed at the southern part of the Blessed Land. This was originally the Rockman's home grounds, now there was a group of hairy men who suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The two sides fought for their territories causing several small-scale conflicts. Under Fang Yuan's instructions, Little Hu Immortal secretly helped the hairy men win against a stoneman tribe and sold the stoneman captives to Immortal Crane Sect. Immortal Crane Sect kept on trying to make transactions for the Guts Goo, but were always refused by Little Hu Immortal. Fang Zhang requested to see Fang Yuan several times as a negotiation representative, but was also refused. As for Treasure Yellow Heaven, another batch of Gruel Mud was sold, gaining another remnant recipe of Immortal Goo Gruel Mud. The remnant recipes of Immortal Gu Fang Yuan had sold before was once again resold by Little Hu Immortal after a gap of some time, obtaining 11 Immortal Essence Stones. 
when the same goo recipe is sold multiple times in Treasure Yellow Heaven and more goo immortals obtain it, its treasure light will decrease. Thus, this method could not be treated as a long-term source of income. This was like a gold mine which was already mostly mined. The profits in the future would continue to decrease and not be worthy of too much expectations. After another three days of confrontation, Dong Fang Yu Liang personally wrote a war challenge and sent it to Hai Lu Lan. Hai Lu Lan was shocked and asked his subordinates, Has the rear army of Dong Fang tribe arrived already? Cunning gentleman's son, Shihan answered, Their rear army is still 5,000 li away, building the fifth defensive line. Hai Lu Lan gave a sinister smile. Dong Fang tribe's military strength was originally lower than ours, and they still dare to split their forces. Sun Shihan also smiled. Dong Fang Yu Liang is playing with fire. We might as well wait until our rear army converges, our military strength will greatly surpass theirs, and at that time, we can crush through their whole army in one move. Baleful light flickered in Hai Lu Lan's eyes. He had a personal grudge with Dong Fang Yu Liang. When he went adventuring to gain experience in his youth, he saw Dong Fang King Yu and drooled over her beauty. But he was taught a lesson by Dong Fang Yu Liang and had suffered quite a bit. He really wanted to take revenge, but he was not someone who was easily controlled by emotions. Even a fool can see through this Dong Fang lad's intention. He wants to battle, but I won't give him the chance. How long till my rear army arrives? Hai Lu Lan asked. Approximated three days. Wang tribe leader answered from the side. Good. I will write a letter to Dong Fang Yu Liang to change the date to four days later. Hai Lu Lan laughed loudly. Dong Fang Yu Liang received the letter and skimmed through it. Dong Fang Alliance's higher ups were filled with fury. Hai Lu Lan had written nonsense, proclaiming he was giving three days of time to Dong Fang Yu Liang in magnanimity, and hoped Dong Fang Yu Liang would live up to this good intent and enjoy the last days of his life. The crowd shouted for war one after another, but Dong Fang Yu Liang calmly smiled. Everyone, do not be impatient. This letter was already within my expectations. I have deduced many times over these days and have come up with a plan. Please listen to the details. Four days were gone in an instant. In this day of battle, it was a day of fine weather with blue sky spreading to the distant horizon. Knee-length grass grew lushly, the two sides moved in formation that reached hundred li, raising banners with tightly packed troops. A twin-headed hill-sized rhino carried the main tent on its back. On the main tent was Hai Lu Lan, Fang Yuan, Hao Jai Liu, Wang tribe leader, Fang tribe leader, Yi tribe leader, and other experts. Fang Yuan's position was naturally at the topmost left side of the main seat. Cunning gentleman's son, Shi Han was standing behind Hai Lu Lan with a loyal expression. He had already become Hai Lu Lan's trusted aide. The wind whistled, causing the banners to flutter wildly. Fang Yuan looked into the distance from his seat, seeing the tight and disciplined formation of Dong Fang tribe with their main tent resting on a white cloud, floating in mid-air. One could vaguely see Dong Fang Yu Liang sitting on the central seat in the main tent with officials and fierce experts sitting on his left and right. Just from their disposition, they did not appear any weaker than Hai Lu Lan's side. At this moment, Hai Lu Lan's loud laughter rang in Fang Yuan's ears. Ha ha ha, this battle will signify the first step my high tribe takes towards the ownership of the imperial court and ruling the northern plains. Everyone who wants to go forward and make the first challenge. His words had just landed when a group of Gu masters rose one after another, shouting or vouching for themselves to request to be sent to battle. Hai Lu Lan's gaze traveled through the group and landed on one of them. Pan Ping, you shall go. Pan Ping was tall and buff, his hair was reddish-yellow, on his waist was a scimitar with gold edge and silver handle. He laughed heartily when chosen and just as he was about to agree, a loud shout came from the enemy. Junior Tang Mayo Ming has heard of the awe-spiring name of the Grand Wolf King for a long time, I have specifically come to get a pointer or two. 
Dong Fang Yuliang has guts, he actually chose to challenge us first. That is Little Fox Commander Tang Mayo Ming, a rank 4 middle stage Gu Master, she actually directly challenged Lord Wolf King, they must be planning something. For a moment, everyone's gaze landed on Fang Yuan, waiting for the Wolf King's response. Chapter 509 A Wave of His Hand The two armies were poised for battle. High Tribe had been about to send Pan Ping to challenge, but Dong Fang Yuliang was the first to send Tang Mayo Ming. Tang Mayo Ming was Tang Tribe's specially cultivated enslavement path, female Gu Master with rank 4 middle stage cultivation. She liked foxes and had exquisite control over them, but she did not have any notable achievements in history. However, Dong Fang Yu Liang specially sent her to directly challenge Wolf King, so it was clear he had a specific plan against Fang Yuan and Tang Mayo Ming was one part of it. Wisdom Path Gu Masters were like this with plans within plans. The people fighting against Wisdom Path Gu Masters would not sense it at the start, but by the time they realized it, they would be deep under already. Tang Mayo Ming's public challenge attracted everyone's gazes towards Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was at leisure as he drank wine and slowly placed down the wine cup, then looked at Hai Lu Lan. Alliance leader, then should I take the challenge? Hai Lu Lan laughed heartily, pleased at Fang Yuan asking him before the battle. Let these experts look at Brother Shan Yin's might and be awed. Fang Yuan slowly stood up and used a goo worm to transmit his voice outside. Little girl, your bravery in challenging me deserves praises, but you are not my match. Moreover, it is getting late. In front of the formation, Tang Mayo Ming clenched her hands which were soaked with sweat. Her lovely body shuddered at Fang Yuan's words, and her thoughts began to unfold at a rapid speed. Wolf King replied, He is truly arrogant, just like Alliance leader Dong Fang expected. Now I should act according to his plan and use words to force him to battle with only a hundred beast group against my similar-sized fox group. But, what is the meaning of his last sentence? Dong Fang Yu Liang, who was sitting in the main tent, had been observing the situation. Tang Mai Oming was an enslavement path expert he accidentally discovered not long ago. After Dong Fang Yu Liang learned the details, he found that Tang Mayo Ming was very good at fighting with small-scale fox groups. Her skill at this aspect was quite deep, and adding in her set of supporting goo worms, she could even match an enslavement path master. Dong Fang Yu Liang immediately thought of using Tang Mayo Ming to openly scheme against Wolf King Chang Shan Yin. The Wolf King's prestige was deeply set in people's hearts. If he was beaten under everyone's gaze, it would definitely greatly raise their morale. What was even more matching was that Wolf King Chang Shan Yin was very arrogant. Tang Mayo Ming was his junior and a female. As long as she was putting herself in a lower position, even Chang Shan Yin would also find it embarrassing to bully a junior in front of everyone. Chang Shan Yin, you are really as arrogant as the rumors say. Hehe, <laughs> as long as you come out to fight, Tang Mayo Ming will definitely give you a great surprise. Dong Fang Yu Liang was inwardly excited but also had a doubt. It is getting late? What is he talking about? Not only Dong Fang Yu Liang, but others also had doubts. But Fang Yuan's next sentence immediately answered their doubts. It is getting late. Quickly start the battle. I still need to eat my lunch after it. Come, those who want to challenge me, all of you come out. After he finished speaking, he stood and then waved his hand from the main tent. Howl! 500,000 wolves howled together. The explosive wolf howls resounded through the skies. Their vigor was so majestic that even the wind stopped for a moment and all the experts shocked. Brother Shan Yin, what are you? Hai Lu Lan's hand slipped and the fine wine in his cup spilled down on his robe. Could it be, the Wolf King is thinking? Dong Fang Yu Liang's pupils shrunk, his expression paling. Following 500,000 wolf group rushed forward like a majestic tide towards the opposite army. My, my god! Wolf tide, this is a wolf tide! 
Chang Shan Yin, he is making a direct attack. He has sent all his wolves. Dong Fang Alliance Army was in a chaos. The enormous momentum from the wolf group shook them. Many people screamed in fear, and countless defensive goo worms were activated. For a moment, countless light barriers with all kinds of color shone among Dong Fang Alliance Army. Some just shielded one person while some shielded a large patch of land. Some formed into armors while some caused the earth to bulge and form into earth walls. Tang Myoming's face was as pale as paper. She was standing between the two armies, and with the wolf group rushing forward, she would be the first they would charge into. Facing the endless wolf tide, she felt like she was a small wooden boat in a vast sea about to be swallowed by a shocking tide. Damn it, the Wolf King is not abiding by the rules. I came forward to challenge him and only brought a thousand beast group. Tang Myoming was shocked and also furious. Normally speaking, before a battle began, there would be a battle between experts in between the armies. This was an old practice in Northern Plains. In the battle between Gu Master experts, not only would the winner's side's morale greatly increase, they could also understand the strength of the other side and be more prepared later. At the same time, this expert challenge could also build friendship. Once the battle ended, the losing side's Gu Masters would have a way out when they surrendered. The challenge between experts, the moment Fang Yuan raised his hand, he used all his wolf groups and directly cut apart the round of expert challenging. Wolf King, do you know the rules? For a moment, countless people from both sides roared and questioned in their mind. The two armies were not too far apart. The wolf group's rush was quick and soon crossed this distance and unfolded an intense battle against Dong Fang army. Attack, don't be in a daze, the wolf group has attacked. Kill, slaughter these damned wolves. Brothers, move together, fight alongside each other. A clamor erupted within Dong Fang army. All kinds of colorful lights, rolling stones, golden lights, wooden spikes, water steam, wind blades, and so on landed among the wolf group, causing enormous casualties in Fang Yuan's wolf group instantly. High Tribe Army was still standing on their spot, looking dumbfoundedly at the frenzied battle situation in the other side. Brother Shan Yin, Hai Lu Lan stared with wide eyes at Fang Yun. Fang Yun smiled at Fatty Hai. Dong Fang Yu Liang is a rank 5 wisdom path Gu Master. Since he initiated the expert challenge, he must definitely have had gathered a lot of intel to help him in making deductions and it was the talented alliance leader who directly told me to make my move. Hai Lu Lan's eyes widened even more. He had commanded Fang Yuan to make a move, but it was not to make such a big move. Clearly, Fang Yuan had intentionally distorted his intention, but he could not bicker with Fang Yuan at this critical juncture. Move, all army charge, attack, attack. Hai Lu Lan swallowed his resentment and turned around towards the front, fiercely waving his hand and giving his command. Orders from Alliance Leader, all army charge. Orders from Alliance Leader, all army charge. The command was conveyed from top to bottom. The great army began to move slowly. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers followed the wolf group in charging towards the other side. Tang Myoming manipulated her fox group, changing the formation again and again to firmly protect herself. She was worthy of being the person Dong Fang Yu Liang had chosen. Under the charge of the wolf tide, with just a thousand beast group, she continuously changed the formation to keep on resisting the charge. Her fox group surrounded her, forming a round formation. The formation kept on rotating with a natural flow to it, like a millstone or a reef. The incoming wolf group was like a tide, attacking wave after wave, but it could not break through the round formation of the fox group. However, Tang Myoming did not have the least bit of joy on her face. She was even shouting madly in her mind. This damned wolf king is simply a lunatic. Damn it, I might be able to hold on for now, but with this, I cannot move a single step. Someone save me, save me, eh? Suddenly, Tang Myoming's body stiffened. Her complexion went completely white, her eyes showing fear and despair. 
In front of her, the high tribe army was gradually starting to move before her, quickly increasing their speed. Under the cover of the wolf group, they showed an earth-shattering influence and power of violence. Tang Myalming momentarily lost her senses, and the round formation of the fox group immediately collapsed. The two-headed rhinoceros came rushing over with explosive sounds. As Hai Lu Lan looked on from above, his heart received a slight jolt at Tang Myo Ming's beauty. Who will capture this woman for me? He had just spoken when Pan Ping shot out. Pan Ping made a few jumps and fiercely charged to Tang Myo Ming's side, moving rapidly. In a short few moments, he smoothly captured Tang Myo Ming. Hai Lu Lan nodded with satisfaction at this scene, then turned his gaze towards the front. Dong Fang lad, he gave a malevolent smile, his eyes burning with the flame of revenge. After a short time, the two armies officially started the battle. A large chaotic battle had begun. With Fang Yuan's one move, this great battle that had just started had entered its climax. Beast! Facing the incoming night wolves, Tang Fang furiously shouted and poured his primeval essence into fire pellet goo. Whoosh! A fist-sized fireball shot forward, bringing a gale with it. This orange pellet fire struck the night wolf. The night wolf whimpered and rolled around the ground, but its whole body burned with the fire before shortly dying. Kill! Tang Fang breathed roughly and was about to charge forward when he was blocked by a Tang tribe elder. Third young master, don't rush ahead, the tribe leader has commanded you to return back quickly. But big sister has been captured, Tang Fang stared wide, he did not want to turn back. His big sister was Tang Mao Ming. Third young master, rushing forward like this will only lead to your death. The elder hastily persuaded. Damn it. Tang Fang gnashed his teeth and clenched his fists, feeling his powerlessness. He was Tang tribe's genius, and he was only twenty-two, but had already reached rank three. Yet this rank three battle strength that could have controlled the situation in the past was now so minute in this great battle. The rank three battle strength that was normally hard to be seen were all present in this battlefield. Rank three Gu masters were reduced to mid-level strength. Above them were those rank 4 Gu Master experts, and even more higher were the rank 5 experts. Big sister, wait for me, I will definitely rescue you. Tang Fang calmed down and swore in his mind as he retreated. HMPH, leaving whatever you want, leave behind your life. Right at this time, a rank 3 Gu Master of Wang tribe rushed over. It is Wang Zhong, third young master, leave quickly, I will hold him back. The Tang tribe elder instantly recognized the enemy. Wang Zhang's fiancé Luo Yu Feng had been snatched by Tang tribe, so he had deep hatred towards them. And now, in this large battle, he naturally would not let this chance for revenge go. Such situations were not few. In this world, people would have gratitude, grudges, and hatred. Now, those with grudges could let out their grudges, and those with hatred could repay their hatred. Chibai General, Chibai General, this is war, not a gym battle. Chapter 510, Great Battle. Tang Tribe, the humiliation back then, I will repay it double today. Wang Zhang had a malevolent expression on his face as he gave a deep shout. His whole body inflated like a black bear as he violently smashed towards Tang Fang. Tang Fang was startled and furious at Wang Zhang's fierce momentum and had the intention to battle with his life. Pellet fire goo. He pushed his right palm and an orange fire shot towards Wang Zhang. The fire made an arc in the air, quickly approaching Wang Zhang's face. Wang Zhang felt the burning heat before the fire even struck him. But he just laughed nastily and actually opened his mouth without any intent to dodge. Gulp. He swallowed the pellet fire. This is rank 4 swallow fire goo. Tang Fang was shocked. Swallow fire goo was not an offensive goo but a storage goo. But using goo always relied on a goo master's wits. Who was to say storage goo could not be used for battle? Tang tribe always prioritized fire path goo worms. Wang Zhang spent a huge price to purchase a rank 4 swallow fire goo, so he could use it against Tang tribe sometime in the future. 
Wang Zhang, we will help you. At this time, two Gu masters rushed over, both with rank three cultivation. Tang Fang and the Tang tribe elders' expression turned pale. The Swallow Fire Gu could already restrict them, now the other side had three people, occupying a huge advantage. Third young master, leave quickly, I will hold them back. The Tang tribe elder saw the critical situation and stood up to fight to give Tang Fang an opportunity to escape. Tang Fang was not a conceited man, he gnashed his teeth and turned around to leave. Elder hold on, I will quickly come back with reinforcements. Chase, Wang Zhang, and the two others naturally were not willing to let Tang Fang escape safely, but who could have thought the Tang tribe elder that remained was a defensive Gu master and moreover had a rank three rare Gu slow steps. As this Gu's name implied, it could slow down Gu master's speed for a period of time. Wang Zhang and the two others were slowed down and could only give up on Tang Fang, then with a belly filled with anger attacked the Tang tribe elder. The Tang tribe elder could not fend off against the numbers, although he had slow steps Gu. First, he was struck by Wang Zhang's punch, then his arm was severed by wind blade. Finally, a snowball turned him into an ice sculpture, killing him. Elder, Tang Fang watched with tearful red eyes. When he came back with reinforcements, he could only collect the corpse of this elder. The flames of hatred raged in his heart, but he could not find his enemies. The battlefield was in chaos. Large numbers of wolves rushed forward and created a haver. Besides them, there were fox groups, war crabs, bats and other beasts. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, darkness. All kinds of attacks streaked through the sky and landed on the ground. Rocks were smashed, flames ablazed, ice spread, lightning dazzled the eyes. Gu masters shouted and screamed. Some attacked while some retreated. Some were rushing to reinforce while some were defending. A great chaotic battle between hundreds of thousands of people was enough to fill a range of thousands of miles. Rumble. Suddenly, an enormous blue wave with the momentum of covering the sky descended like an evil flood dragon. Large numbers of wolves and goo masters were swept by the enormous wave. This part of the battlefield was instantly cleared up, several large puddles forming in this cleared grassland. A goo master arrogantly stood in this center of the battlefield while laughing wildly. It is water demon Hao Jai Liu. Tang Fang's pupils shrunk as he recognized this man. Retreat, this person is a rank four upper stage expert, he is a demon. Many surviving rank three goo masters wisely chose to retreat. Water Demon's fierce gaze swept through the battlefield and landed on Tang Fang's side who had the highest numbers. These rank three Gu masters were moving battle merits to Water Demon, representing a bountiful reward after the war. Water Demon licked his dried lips with his scarlet tongue, a bloodthirsty killing intent filling his face. Consider it your bad luck to have ran into me. Water Demon laughed loudly as he fiercely pushed forward his two palms. Rank 4 Waterfall Goo. Boom! In an instant, an enormous torrent bubbled and charged towards Tang Fang and his group with an immense momentum. Facing such a majestic attack, Tang Fang felt he was like a single person facing a tsunami, feeling he was facing a great catastrophe alone. Third young master, we will hold it back, retreat quickly. Several elders who had been accompanying Tang Fang gnashed their teeth and stood in front of Tang Fang. They combined their strength and were finally able to hold back this waterfall. Leave, the elders urging caused Tang Fang to feel stifled. Hold on, I will get father to come rescue you. He gnashed his teeth and finally chose to leave. Gagaga. Water demon laughed wildly and engaged in the battle with the several Tang tribe elders. His offense surged forward, his water abilities charged forward with huge momentum as he used his power to overwhelm the elders, and although the Tang tribe elders had many people, they were falling into a disadvantage, and it was becoming difficult for them to hold back Water Demon. After several moves, an elder lost his life at Water Demon's hands. After dozen or so moves, only one elder remained, with the rest dead. 
water demon laughed sinisterly and was just about to make the final move when suddenly a cold killing intent pounced on him. His plentiful battle experience had given Hao Jai Liu an intuitive feeling towards danger. He did not even look and immediately retreated backwards, giving up the battle contribution that was within his reach without any hesitation. Whoosh! A soft ripping sound echoed and right at the instant of his retreat, a four-leaf wind blade crossed through the air and brushed past him. The wind blade kept on rotating, making a long arc through the battlefield, everything that it passed through, whether it were humans or beasts, were cut through, blood flew and limbs scattered. The light green wind blade spiraled a long arc in the air before flying back to its master. It is you, wind demon Tan Wu Feng. The sinister smile on water demon gradually disappeared and a solemn look appeared in his eyes. Tan Wu Feng and him were called wind and water demons, both having rank 4 upper stage cultivation. Previously, Water Demon rampaged in the eastern areas of Northern Plains, while Wind Demon wreaked havoc in the western areas, their fame echoing with each other. But later, Dong Fang Yu Liang devised three escapement scheme to subdue Wind Demon. Tan Wu Feng became Dong Fang Yu Liang's subordinate and sided with Dong Fang tribe. Water Demon, your laughter is too ear-piercing. Lord has ordered me to bring an end to your life. Wind Demon Tan Wu Feng was clothed in green clothes, hovering in midair, grasping the wind blade that had returned. The wind blade only had three sides remaining from the consumption in the way, but with Wind Demon pouring in primeval essence again, it gradually began to recover back to the previous four-leaf wind blade. Normally speaking, wind blades could not be retrieved once they were sent. Wind Demon played with the wind blade like some toy, he clearly had extraordinary wind manipulation skill. HMPH, it seems you have been taught pretty well by your master over these years, seeing nothing worthwhile around you. Water Demon laughed sinisterly, gazing at Wind Demon like a falcon. Wind Demon's expression suddenly turned gloomy. He swung his palm and shot out the four-leaf wind blade, and at the same time, he also charged towards Water Demon. Come, Water Demon was at ease, a huge wave rising from below his feet. He stepped on the wave and charged towards Wind Demon. Boom! A huge explosion echoed. Wind screamed madly and water waves surged high, unfolding an intense battle of rank four level experts. Surrounding Goo Masters hurriedly retreated, and soon a special battlefield was formed for the battle of wind and water demons. As time passed by, not only these two, other rank 4 Goo Master experts also found their opponents. Dozen or so battle rings emerged one after another in the chaotic battlefield. These battle rings were not set in place, but instead moved with the battle between the experts. With the battle of higher-level forces, the whole battlefield began to become clear. First of all was the large battle rings for the fight of the rank 4 experts. Surrounding these large battle rings were small-scale battle rings where rank 3 Gu Masters fought. And beyond that were the fights between groups of rank 2 and rank 1 Gu Masters. Fang Yuan took this chance to assemble his wolf group. The two armies faced off against each other, creating a deadlock. Usually, the side which broke through this balance would obtain the initiative which would accumulate into advantage. After their dominance was accumulated enough, it would change into victory momentum. Both Hai Lu Lan and Dong Fang Yu Liang knew this. Thus, their gaze landed on their elite troop. These elite troops that were either made of three 400 soldiers or five 600 had received strict training to deploy their goo worm together and create a formidable attack in an instant. They were the weapons to rampage the battlefield, the trump cards of their commander. Not every tribe had the ability to form elite troops. Hai Lu Lan's side had five divisions of elite troops, while Dong Fang Yu Liang had six. Dong Fang Yu Liang first deployed Hundred Blossom's elite troop. This was Hua tribe's elite troop who were quite weak at attacking and defending, but were specialized at healing. With this division of elite troop moving out, they immediately healed large groups of wounded and stabilized the situation, providing a great assistance to Dong Fang's side's base level Gu masters. 
Hai Lu Lan looked at this scene from the main tent and snorted, commanding Blue Butterfly Elite Troop to attack Hundred Blossoms Elite Troop. The Blue Butterfly Elite Troop that contained 500 soldiers who detoured the rank 4 Gu Masters battle rings and easily pierced through the battlefield, charging towards Hundred Blossoms Elite Troop. Just when it looked like they were about to succeed, three elite troops charged in separately from east, south, and west, surrounding the Blue Butterfly Elite Troop. Dong Fang Yu Liang had already planned for this and sent Hundred Blossoms Elite Troop as the bait while making these three elite troops lie in ambush. Hai Lu Lan naturally was not willing to see the annihilation of Blue Butterfly Elite Troop, immediately sending other elite troop divisions as reinforcements. Each elite troops of the two sides quickly converged and formed into several lines of encirclement. The situation once again entered a deadlock. Lord Tribe Leader, let me go forward and crush them. Dong Fang she could not restrain anymore as he requested to be sent to battle. Dong Fang Yu Liang slowly shook his head and did not permit him. Dong Fang she was Dong Fang tribe's Feather Arrow Elite Troops Commander with rank 4 upper stage cultivation. But as long as High Tribe's Black Banner Elite Troop did not move, this Flower Feather Elite Troop could not be sent out. Dong Fang Yu Liang slowly swept his gaze through the battlefield and placated Dong Fang Shi. Elder she does not need to be impatient, this is not the time for you to take the stage. The current situation is already within my expectations. Saying so, he calmly smiled and turned towards the three enslavement path Gu Masters. It is time for you to show your strength. These three were precisely Yi Xuan Ming, Wai Xin, and Zhang Wan Shan.